Adeline, what the hell are you doing? Ah, Hazel. Long time no see. I'm fine, thank you. Why do you ask? Don't play dumb with me. You've been avoiding me for weeks. How could you hide such a big thing from me? How could you betray me like that? I'm sorry. I've been swamped with work and stuff. Yes, I know all about your work and stuff. You bought a condo, right? A fancy one in a skyscraper. That's incredible. My son Dylan must have spent a fortune on it. How did you find out about that? I was going to tell you when everything was done. I've been so stressed out with the move. I'm sorry I didn't keep in touch. Oh, you should have told me, Adeline. You should have told me right away. I was shocked when I heard about it from someone else. You're moving to a skyscraper in New York City. You're living the high life with Dylan, Adeline. You should thank Dylan for making you part of the elite. Well, yeah, I mean, I was fine with the apartment we used to live in. But Dylan wanted to move to a skyscraper. He said it was his dream. A skyscraper? He deserves it. He told me he got promoted to department manager. He's a genius, just like his father. He wouldn't settle for a dump like the one you lived in. He did the right thing by ignoring your whining. You should be grateful to my son, Adeline. He's the one who's supporting you. Oh, come on. So I'm thinking of dropping by your new place soon. How about tomorrow? Are you free? What? Tomorrow? No, Hazel, that's not a good idea. We just moved in, so it's a mess. And I have so much to do because of the move, so I really can't have you over. You just moved in. It's been a month, hasn't it? How long does it take to unpack? You're not lying to me, are you? I'm not lying. I have a job, too. I can't spend all day cleaning. <laughs> what job? You're a housewife, aren't you? Your priority is to keep the house tidy, right? It's not that simple. You know, this month the kids have a lot of school events, so I'm busy with that. I've done most of the living room, but Dylan hasn't touched his stuff. There are still boxes everywhere. Why don't you just do it for him? What a lazy wife. Dylan gave you a chance to live in a skyscraper. And you can't even clean up for him. <laughs> You're failing as my son's wife. I have a job too, you know. I have to take care of myself too. I do most of the childcare and the housework. Of course you do. Your job doesn't pay much anyway. It's your duty as a woman to do the housework. It's your duty as a woman to please your husband. So stop making excuses and get it done. Ugh. Oh, yes. How are my precious grandchildren? I haven't seen them in a while. I miss them. They're fine. They're in the upper grades of elementary now. So they have a lot of activities and friends. I'm glad to hear that. They're smart. Just like me and Dylan. They have our blood in them. You have to bring them to see me more often. They need to know how lucky they are to have my son as their father. And me as their grandmother. Do you get that, or do I have to spell it out for you? <laughs> You're such a selfish wife. I'm so happy that my grandchildren are nothing like you. I'm really sorry. I'll talk to the kids about that later. I'm sure they miss you too. Oh my god! You're unbelievable! I guess I have no choice but to leave. If you're busy tomorrow, I'll come visit you this weekend. You'd better make sure that there are some delicious snacks and tea when I visit you. A good wife knows how to take care of such things. This weekend? But I have plans this weekend. I can't just cancel them. Of course you can. I just told you that I'll visit you. You said tomorrow doesn't work, so I'm being flexible and giving you a compromise. You should appreciate that. I have a meeting at work. It's very important. You just gave me a short notice. And I can't make it because I have a prior engagement. I'm sorry, but I can't change that. Don't be ridiculous. The most important thing is to reunite Grandma with the grandkids. They need to spend more time with me. Dylan said he'd be home this weekend. A good wife should be able to adjust her schedule to match her husband's. Why don't you take some time off to accommodate your husband's schedule? 
If you prioritize work meetings over your family, you won't be able to take care of your husband. You don't know the first thing about being a good wife. I don't know why you're suddenly telling me this, but it's not fair. I have a job too. Yes, 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 whatever. I've heard enough of your excuses about being an incompetent wife. I'll eat dinner and go home. So, please take care of me. I leave and check your level of cooking. If you serve me a half-baked dish, I'll give you a private lecture about how to cook properly. You need to learn from me. See you later. Wait, Hazel. You're being unreasonable. You can't just barge in like that. Oh, dear. Hey, Adeline. Isn't a high-rise amazing? It's the perfect place for brilliant people like me, my son, and my grandchildren to live. It feels so good to look down on people from a higher floor. It looks as if those poor people were crawling on the ground like ants. Good evening, Hazel. How can I help you? Do you need something? Oh, I'm sorry. I got lost in my own world. You know what? I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to live in that world. I can't wait to move in. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Are you moving to a high-rise, too? Did you buy a condo somewhere? Yes, that's what I mean. I went to your place the other day, and the thought just crossed my mind. I'm the one who deserves to live here. I just knew it. I felt it in my bones. What? Are you telling me that you're moving in with us? I thought you bought a room at the high-rise yourself. You can't just decide that without consulting us. Why would I have to buy one when I already have one I can live in? It's my son and his wife's house, which means it's also mine. I have every right to live there. No, you can't have such an important matter decided without me and my husband's permission. I'll have to talk to Dylan about it. This is ridiculous. Oh, you didn't hear from him? My son already agreed to it. He said he'd be happy to have me live with him. What's that? I haven't heard that at all. He didn't tell me anything about it. When did he agree to that? Living in a high-rise will give me peace of mind in my old age. I've been thinking that it's about time Dylan and I moved in together. It's a good thing he bought a condo. I'll get my stuff there tomorrow, so please clean up the mess. Make some room for me. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. That's too selfish. You can't move into the house since we don't have enough room. Each of the four of us has our own room. The only space available is the living room. Where are you going to sleep? You don't need a room of your own, Adeline. When I saw it the other day, I liked the view from your room the best. Starting tomorrow, that'll be my room. I won't hear any objections. You should sleep in the living room. That's good enough for you. You should be thankful that you live in a high-rise. You don't deserve it. I can't do that. I take my work home with me. Besides, I also do remote work some days in the week. I need a room where I can work in peace. Besides, it's such a short notice. I'll be at work tomorrow, so I won't be able to pick up the packages. You can't just show up like that. Adeline, do you know what? You're not doing much work anyway, so why don't you just take a day off? Your mother-in-law just told you that she's moving out. It's your duty as my son's wife to take a day off from your work and greet her politely. You must be really incompetent if you don't understand that. I really feel sorry for Dylan, who married a terrible person like you. Huh? I told you that I can't do that. So please understand, Hazel. Dylan knows that you are moving in, right? Then he's the one who should take a day off to help you. I didn't know about the move until a few minutes ago, so I can't take a day off if you suddenly ask me to. You really are an idiot. My son has an important job to support his family. He can't just suddenly take a day off. You seem to have a strange pride in your work. You earn less than Dylan. You have no responsibility. And your job is worthless, right? It's natural for a woman to be a housewife and take care of the family. But you're just too proud to do so. But to make my son the breadwinner of the family take a day off because of your petty pride is beyond insane. 
You are such a useless wife that you can't even understand such a thing. When I move there, you'll have to educate your children well. They shouldn't grow up to be a person like you. Anyway, tomorrow when you get my stuff, take everything out of the cardboard boxes and organize them. Since you seem to have a lot of good furniture, you can keep those in your room. I'll use it. I'll be there tomorrow for dinner. If it's not done when I get there, I won't forgive you. I'll make you regret it. That's absurd. You really are troubling me. I won't give up my room or my furniture. They are mine. I bought them with my own money. If you love Dylan so much, then you should use his room. He's your son, after all. You should take care of the moving by yourself, since I won't be able to help you. I have a job, you know. I already reserved a moving company. Also, I signed a contract to sell the house I've been living in. I can't change the date. It's already done. Besides, Dylan needs his private time, too. It's true that me and my son get along well together, but I don't like the idea of us sharing the same bedroom. So I can't take your suggestion. As a wife, you should live your life with us as a family. You should respect me as your mother-in-law. I'm taking care of a useless wife like you without abandoning you. You should be grateful for that. Why are you being so selfish? Taking care of me? Dylan doesn't take care of the house chores and looks after the kids at all. I'm the one doing all of them. I'm the one who cooks, cleans, does the laundry, helps the kids with their homework, and everything else. And on top of that, you insist on moving in with us. It's beyond unreasonable. You just can't do it because you're a bad wife. You're not even aware that it's normal for a mother-in-law to move in with her son and his family. I'm going to give you a good lesson. You should be grateful to me for teaching you the common sense of this world. Even though you're an insane, useless wife, you're able to live in a high-rise thanks to me and my son. We are the ones who made it possible. See you tomorrow. Wait, Hazel. I can't believe it. You can't do this to me. This is our home. You can't just barge in and ruin everything. Hey, Adeline. What are you doing? You don't have to come home again. You're not welcome here anymore. What are you talking about all of a sudden? What's wrong with you? Did something happen? Don't you dare talk to me like that. You have no right to act innocent. Dylan told me everything about you. I heard you're having an affair with some other man while he's supporting you. You ungrateful bastard. You're not only useless, but you're also betraying your husband. What a despicable wife. How could you do that to him? What? Another mysterious accusation? I never committed adultery. That's a lie. Did Dylan really say that? Why would he say such a thing? My sweet son was crying and asking me for advice. He said he's thinking of divorcing you because you're having an affair. He said he can't stand the sight of you anymore. He let a useless wife like you live in a high-rise, but you betrayed him. You broke his heart. No wonder he's in shock. That's why I won't ever let you enter the house when you get back. You don't deserve to live here. Ugh, well, that's fine. I'm not going back there. I don't want to see you or him either. No, you're such a good girl. Are you going to elope with your boyfriend? Are you going to run away from your responsibilities? What an irresponsible mother. Well, that's convenient for us. So you can do what you want. We'll get full custody of the kids, of course. You'll never see your beautiful children again. I'll educate them in the ways of the upper class and raise them to be respectable children. They'll forget about you soon enough. Hazel, you always have such interesting things to say. You've got it all wrong, and you're so proud of yourself. Unfortunately, the children will never go back to that house again. The only ones who will remain there are you and Dylan. You can have each other. <laughs> huh? What on earth are you talking about? What do you mean the children will never go back to that house again? I'm in the process of cleaning up the new house where me and my children will live. 
I've told the kids where this house is. I guess it's about time they come home. We will start a new life here. A better life. So you and Dylan can live in harmony without me and the kids. I know you're going to have a lot of trouble in the future, but good luck anyway. You'll need it. I don't get it. What do you mean that you've got yourself a new house? Where did you get the money for that? How did you find a place so quickly? You are being deceived by your dearly beloved son. You know that? Dylan is the one who is actually having an affair. He's been cheating on me for months. He's the one who ruined our marriage. Seriously? A kind and serious boy like Dylan having an affair? He would never do such a thing. You're just trying to put the blame on my son, aren't you? Wow. I'm speechless. You're unbelievable. You love your son very much. You may find this hard to believe, but it's the truth. I have the proof with me, so you can't get away with it. I can show you if you want. If you have the proof, then show me. It's a lie you made up anyway, isn't it? You're just trying to destroy my family. I'll show it to you if you want to see it. This is the proof that your son is having an affair. This is the picture that my friend took of them in a luxury hotel. They were kissing and hugging in the lobby. Before we moved into the high-rise, I knew something was wrong. I noticed that he often went out alone on his days off. He said he had some errands to run, but he never told me what they were. He usually doesn't work overtime, since his workload isn't that much. But then he told me that he wants to move to a high-rise for the future. He said it was his dream to live in a skyscraper. I thought he was spending his time outside to do some research for the property, but I was wrong. He was spending time with his lover. I was cleaning Dylan's room shortly after we moved in. I found women's jewelry that wasn't mine under the bed. So I took a sneak peek at Dylan's cell phone and was convinced that he was having an affair. He had dozens of messages and photos from his lover. He even called her by a pet name. Dylan brought his lover into the apartment we just moved into. He cheated on me in our own bed. Really? Even if that's true, what drove my son to the point of considering divorce is your fault. Because you are such a useless wife. That's why he decided to have an affair. He was looking for someone who could give him what you couldn't. You're getting carried away by saying you have the proof. You are the main cause Dylan wants a divorce. A useless wife like you is not supposed to talk so proudly like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you say that I'm useless? Since this is the last time, I'm going to say what I want to say to you. I paid for that high-rise with all my money. Dylan didn't pay a single cent. He didn't even have enough savings to buy a condo. Therefore, the ownership of the room is mine. Huh? Stop talking nonsense. Do you think you can afford that when you don't even have a proper job? You're just a housewife. You don't have any income. You should think more carefully before you lie. You're getting carried away by saying you've moved. But perhaps you still miss the high-rise, don't you? You're just trying to steal it away from us by telling some random lies. I won't be fooled by that. You're just jealous of us. On the contrary, do you think someone who gets paid with a modest amount of salary can afford to pay for a, a high-rise? Do you think someone who barely works can afford to pay for a high-rise? What are you talking about? Dylan is only 40 years old and he's been promoted to be the department manager. He's not just an ordinary office worker. He is an upper-class, super-elite office worker. He has a lot of power and influence. Dylan hasn't been promoted. Not only is he still a section chief, but I heard that he's in danger of being demoted. What? That can't be true. 
I started my own company when my children enrolled at elementary school. After my company got off the ground, Dylan gradually changed. He became lazy and arrogant. At work, he seems to be handing over his work to his colleagues and doing nothing these days. Even when he was in danger of being demoted, he continued to slack off and had no sense of crisis at all. I guess he thinks that if he gets fired, he'll be fine because I'm there to support him. He thinks he can live off my money, although he is no longer doing housework, childcare, or even working. He is still a father. I was holding out on the divorce for the sake of the children. I didn't want to break up the family. What? Are you saying that my son is lying to me? That's right. Because you always say that you love your son so much. Dylan just wanted to look good in front of other people. He wanted to impress you. So he said that he bought the high rise with his own money anyway. Am I right? He said that he got promoted to be the department manager and that his salary will go up. He said all those things. But they were all lies. Yes. Dylan said that. He said all those things and I believed him. Both you and your son really disgust me. Dylan bought a high rise with my money without paying a penny himself. He used my credit card without my permission. He forged my signature without my consent. He made up a story about my infidelity to kick me out so that he can get alimony from me and ownership of the high rise. He planned to divorce me and take everything from me. He wanted to live with his lover in the high rise that I paid for. The fact that you offered to live together with us was a good chance for Dylan because he can get rid of me without getting his own hands dirty. He can use you as his accomplice. Truly, you and your son are foolish, but it's too late. I already hired a lawyer and I'm preparing for a trial. I'm going to sue him for everything he's done. A trial? What trial? What are you talking about? Yes. Before Dylan puts his plan into action, I'm glad that I caught the proof that he's having an affair. Since we already have all the evidence, Dylan's plan is no longer possible. Therefore, if you want to continue to live in that room, please discuss with your son and buy it from me. I will sell it to you at the market price. I won't raise the price, but I won't give you any discount either. By the way, Dylan seems to be paying a lot of money to his lover. I doubt he has much money saved up. He seems to have spent it all in anticipation of getting a lot of alimony from me. So, instead of buying a high rise, I doubt he can even afford to pay for a living next month. He seems to be contributing more than his own salary by using credit cards. Wait a minute. I don't get it at all. So you're saying that I can't live in this high rise anymore after all the trouble I went through to get rid of you? If you can't buy it at the market price, I'll have to ask you to leave. I will sell it to someone who is worthy of living there, not someone who can't even pay the rent. Oh, yeah. And I won't let you see your grandchildren at all from now on. What? Stop joking. The children will be sad if they don't see their grandmother. You can have a divorce, but it's irresponsible of you as a parent to make the children sad. They don't seem to miss you at all. Whenever they visited you, they said that you were speaking ill about me endlessly. You yelled at the store clerks whenever you went out with them. They have come to the point where they don't want to visit their grandmother anymore. Living with you for the past months has been very stressful for the kids. They were overjoyed when I told them that we were going to live in a different house. Oh no. But you let them see my son, right? He's their father. No. I won't let them see Dylan either. 
it seems that the children were aware of his infidelity. They said they heard a stranger's voice coming from their father's room on the day they came home early from morning classes. When I told them about the separation, they told me that their father asked them to keep that as a secret. What kind of father would allow his children to have such a nasty secret? I can't believe he would bring an adulterer into the house where his children live. They are just kids. They'll forget about all of that soon. It's just one time. How can they hate their own father just because of that? For kids, family troubles will always stay in their minds, even if it was just once. It's enough to make them not trust their father. I have a responsibility to protect my kids from people who can't understand such things. I will not let you and your son have anything to do with my kids from now on. Ah, oh, thank goodness that I didn't get lost. Well, then you'll be hearing from my lawyer for more details. Until then, enjoy your life in the high rise for the time being. Goodbye. Wait a minute, Adeline. Hey, let's talk about it. I have nowhere to live if this house is gone. Oh, please come back. I'll apologize. I beg you, please, Adeline. And so, the divorce was final. Dylan had no money to pay for the high-rise. He and his mother were kicked out of there. On top of that, he had to pay me alimony and child support. His income was already low, but now it was even lower. His life became a living hell. My ex-husband, who hated his own family and wasted all his money on his affair, pleaded to stay with his lover but she dumped him without a second thought. Now they live in a tiny room in a cheap old rundown apartment with no bathroom and a shared toilet. They live like rats. Later, a plan to build a huge commercial complex near the high rise was announced and the land prices skyrocketed. I was glad to sell the high rise with a small loss. I'm now living happily with my children in my new house. I'm free from him and his mother. <laughs>